Hey there again guys, um, so last time I said I was going to get the farm sorted out and everything, uh, I changed my mind a little bit, I actually went looking for diamonds so that I could uh, sort myself out with an enchanting table that I've done. I had quite a bit of leather anyway so the bookshelves wasn't too bad, also with the little haul from the village uh, I managed to get enough bookshelves so hopefully I think this is maxed out. Now I wanted to kind of test out this idea of it on Thalmium just to see if I got anything different. I don't know if I will do or not, I, um, but hopefully 30 should give me something good anyway. So uh, kind of nervous, but here we go. What do we get? Unbreaking 3 and Repair 2. Um, okay, I'm going to have to look up what Repair is. But uh, Unbreaking 3 is not too bad. I can, do, I can deal with that one. I can deal with this this lasting a decent amount of time. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. But um, cool thing is, you know, experience will build up. I'll be able to try out some more. I might try it on some armor next. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys. I sorted out. I uh, still got the the helm and that and the robes that I made last time. But I sorted myself out some. Yeah. So I think if I just switch here, that looks pretty cool. I like that. I like those. I like those a lot. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the next thing I wanted to look at, I wanted to look at see if we can, uh, if I show you my Thalmanomicon, see if we can start to research this little bit here. And I think that will uh, actually fill up this. This will become automatic. I think it's to do with artificing. And then, yeah, to find this one. Now I think this is like a sense device, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's going to have to do with Procantatio, so I'm going to try with Viz Shards to start with, oh brilliant, straight away something, Thalmometer, that's it, and I'm pretty sure it's meant to point you towards either nodes or Viz Shards or something like that, okay, so we've got that, um, I have a feeling it might have something to do with water as well, uh, Sugarcane's got the water. I might actually ha I should have. Oh, I've got plenty of water shards. I should have used those to start with, so that it got the V's, the Precantatio from there as well. Oh, it's not. Okay. Um, let's have a think. Let's pop those away. Um, thermometer is a magical device. It's looking for something. Maybe it requires some metal. I know it will probably require some to make. So let's have a look at that. Okay, this is going to be interesting then. Okay, um, we'll try this. We'll try device, so it might be... We'll try those as well. Now, like I say, I could look this up, and I did think about looking all the things up I wanted to do beforehand, but I kind of like the idea of sort of getting there from thinking about what it might be. Um, ah, I know. If I check out Flint, that has, you see those pictures of tools? Um, and now I'm not sure what that's called, but this is going to be a tool. A thermometer is, is going to be a tool, so maybe it's got, uh, no, nothing like that in it either. Um, here we go, let's have a look. Potentia, maybe the Potentia, that might be useful. Um, a mechanism, okay, that could be useful. This Machina and Potentia, here we go, what are we looking at? So we've got Machina, it's not Potentia, what about, it's not going to be fire. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, what else have we got? Ambers um, gives us those shackles. Maybe that's got something to do with it. Maybe, maybe the ground one. If it's going to let us look through. No. Nope. Hmm. Machina. What else could this be? Oh, if, it, if it doesn't, if we don't jump onto it soon, then I, I won't keep you guys looking knowledge maybe the knowledge from your book let's try this when I say knowledge what I mean cognito 
but I just knowledge is more. Here we go, cool, and that's all three of them. Fantastic. So thermometer. Let's have a look in our thermometer. Thermometer. So I use a gold ink, two gold ingots. Ah, water shard, that's where I, my memory of water came from. And this points me towards the centre of the nearest magical aura. That's pretty cool. So we'll we'll get to crafting one of those, I think. We'll have that. So I want those and I want those. Let's go. I'm going to use my infusion altar, that's where I've left my wand. This is going to be where most of the stuff we we craft now from Thalmcraft is going to be made. 19 viz, that's okay, it's fully charged. So what does this look like? Ah, okay. So this is... I wonder if I'm following this, if this points me towards something. Have I got a pickaxe on me? I'm not. Let me go and grab a pickaxe and we'll see how successful that is. Well, let's... Might as well use it. We've got it. So let's go out this way. That way. Cool, so it's still in this direction. I don't know what sort of reach this has got. But, um, we'll see. Uh, we're still looking forwards, come. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if you can tell, but it's unlike a compass or a clock or anything like that, the actual uh, hotkey, the little bar down the bottom, it doesn't change. Which is unfortunate, otherwise that would be really useful for that being sitting in there. Um, we could tell which way we're going. Now we're up under the desert, so how much further? This is still pointing up, I'm going to need to be careful. So if we just dug up to the surface, ah oh man, that's a fail. Is that coming all the way down? It is. Well, if I'm going up to the surface, let's block it up here. That's annoying. But if that's meant to be up there, let's go and have a look up top. Ah, uh, I see what it was pointing us towards. Ah, uh, I was hoping it would point us towards some Vs, but it wasn't, was it? It was pointing us towards this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, no mind. Whoa. Hello. Thanks for that. It's the only problem having so much sugar cane around here, you don't see the creepers coming. There we go, right. Let's wander back down. Okay. So we've got our thermometer. Now, anyway, what I wanted to do once I'd got that was see... Yeah, so this gives us here. And the next one, I believe this is quite a big one. Um, and I think it includes lots of everything. Let's have a look. Oh, gunpowder. Oh, that's cool. In which case... This is quite a cool thing about Thalmcraft. It gives you sort of a second way to get certain items. So you don't have to go around creeper hunting, for example, for gunpowder. Uh, let's have a look. So we use alumentum. That's pretty cool. So let's see. Okay, not actually alumentum, you just put in fire and fractus. Now I believe you get fractus from here, so you could just put coal and cobblestone. It's two really common things, coal and cobblestone, and you can get yourself some gunpowder. That's pretty cool, I like that. I like that indeed. Uh, not that I need to be using a lot of gunpowder at the moment, but it's... Uh, it's a cool way to get hold of it. Um, right. Do you know what I want to do? 
I want to quickly... I know it's a bit of a waste using up the 9 on this. Oh, that'll do 7. Feather falling, I'll take that. Okay, cool. <laughs> that looks awesome with the glow on the purple. Cool. Alright, I'm not sure how long I've been going, but I think I'm going to stop it there. Uh, I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll have the farms farms up and running next time. Not that, that you'll need to be too interested in that. Okay, but I'll, uh, I'll see you a bit later, guys. Thanks very much.